Hi everyone, this is Daniel Scranton and I'm going to channel the Arcturian Council. Conformity. We have noticed that those of you who are star seeds are quite willing to tell others. that truth about yourselves in spite of the fact that many people would and do mock you for believing that extraterrestrials are in fact real. When you come out as a star seed that really puts you in a vulnerable position for so many to ridicule you
and even exclude you from your group or your families. It hasn't been easy for many of you there. on earth for a very long time and for some of you it hasn't been easy for your entire life because you have felt different Once you stumbled on the concept of the star seed, many of you wept. Because something finally made sense of how you have always felt being there on earth. Now, from our perspective, you don't have to be living your first lifetime on Earth to be a star seed. You are just awake to the truth that you had to travel through other star systems and higher dimensional planes to get to Earth. And now that you are awake, you know that Extraterrestrials not only exist, but you also know that you are related to all of the ETs throughout the galaxy. Your roots go back a long way and spread a tremendous distance and that is all very helpful to bring humankind into the galactic community officially. Many of you have been waiting for that official invitation for quite some time and you are growing impatient. So many there on earth are very eager to go home, to be a part of their galactic family once again. But you did want to be on Earth. And we invite you to do your best to remember why you wanted to be on Earth at this time of 
great changes, shifting energies, and ultimately the ascension of the consciousness throughout this universe of ours. Trust us when we say that you will be able to go home. But please do your best to consider Earth your home for now. Because Earth and your fellow Earthlings need you there. They need you to normalize their experiences with ETs, which will be coming. You will help them feel ready for those encounters. And you will help them to understand who they really are. And all throughout the galaxy will be able to come together once again. And be united even before the shift in consciousness is complete. Well, the Octurian calls and we have enjoyed connecting with you. Thank you everybody for watching my video. Uh, I guess Colleander will not be joining us. Um, I hope uh, your week is going well. I thought today was uh, Monday. <laughs> I'm still adjusting to my work calendar going back to uh, Fridays and Sundays off. So uh, I was a bit confused today when I was talking to my wife about what day it was. But um, yeah, things are uh, things are going pretty well here. Um, I worked a very long day; did not get to spend much time with the girl. Um, Talea is her name, <laughs> and um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to Friday morning, which is our time to uh, really bond together. Uh, I'll, I'll get up super early. Um, I, uh, I'm, if you're watching this in time to sign up, I do have a um, accessing your accessing and developing your spiritual gifts uh, course coming up today on the 17th, and um, it's a three-week course starts on the 17th, and um, yeah, please go to the link down below on. YouTube and on Instagram and everywhere else you're watching this. It's danielscranton.com slash gifts to get to that page on my website if you want to sign up. Um, oh, and I also have a beginner's channeling class coming up on March 1st. danielscranton.com slash learn for that one. And the mega course, which will be for... Uh, 18 hours total class time starting March 10th, danielscranton.com slash mega. Um, I'm, I'm on my way to being done with 
the show Ray Donovan and it's a little sad that it's ending and it's also kind of um, going out with a whimper right now I think in season seven season seven does not has not really grabbed me um, but I'm hoping they turn it around <laughs> in the second half uh, what else is happening you know, my wife and I are making our way through Schitt's Creek, and, and that also will at some point come to an end. Very sadly, that show has uh, has brought us a lot of joy. Um, and uh, like I said, I didn't see much of Talea today, so I don't have... Uh, she went to the beach today with my wife, and, um, and so uh, she's really starting to enjoy the beach. Oh, and she did ask... My wife's like, Talia wants to go to the beach. She's asking the beach. I was like, really? <laughs> she said, yeah, she's saying turtle. And she says, tur, like that. Or she says, like, part of the word turtle. <laughs> but she saw a giant sea turtle um, the last time she was there before today. So that's why uh, that was the request is for more turtle time. Um, you can't just walk right up to them, obviously, even if you're a cute baby. Um, and, and start, you know, riding <laughs> on top of them. Uh, you're supposed to keep a distance, actually, for their safety. Um, and so they can sleep and lay eggs and do whatever they got to do. But, you know, Talia from a respectful distance is uh, admiring the, these gigantic sea turtles that we have here that are just so cool. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's life here right now. Oh, my, um, my sound healing video is uh, getting a lot of views um, on Instagram, especially. It's got more views on Instagram than it does on YouTube. Um, so if you're interested in a 11 minute sound healing session that I did um, this past weekend uh, for all physical ailments, check um, on YouTube, ch uh, click my head down there and um, you'll find it. And Instagram, uh, it's on my, you know, you go to my profile and you'll see it. Um, even Facebook, it's gotten a lot of views and likes and stuff. So um, very popular and uh, I plan on doing more of those. So uh, you have those to look forward to if you enjoyed that uh, video. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Namaste. Blessings. To you and yours, I love you guys, and I will see, be back here tomorrow night, Wednesday night, for another video from the Arcturian Council. Bye for now.